down below, he said, Five up the boilers, boys, it's off to New York we go. Twenty-three knots was our top speed as we raced into the night. No one saw the devil as he cut us deep inside And the captain cried We're the biggest, we're the best Fire off the boilers, boys We're heading west Yes, we're heading On April the 15th, 1912 She finally fell away to rest Over two miles down She was a bright and joy The flagship It's very kind. Thank you. Well, I think you figured now. Uh, I'm from Ireland. I'm Irish, and uh, one of the many perks of that was growing up in a wee farm by the sea. And I've got many fond memories of that. It was really idyllic, from bringing in, you know, early summer hay to making the bales. Making my first house was made of straw or hay. It was very warm. I mean, the dogs had a lot of fun there. It was lovely times indeed. And then sometimes you come in and you'd be, you could be thin turnips or picking vegetables during the day and you'd be wet and cold over winter, but you'd always walk in and there was always a lovely smell of bacon because boy, can my mother bake. Put the cap on and help us. That start. would help, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. He didn't take his tablets this morning, but we're working on it. <laughs> you sneak them in my breakfast, did you? I did. <laughs> Love is. It's no wonder my <laughs> porridge tastes horrible. <laughs> oh, let's get out the farm. I'll show you a bit of my home. Autumn in fields, time for harvest, making houses with the bales. Yeah, sent all bacon from the kitchen. Mother making bread Oh, these are the things that I recall They don't mean much, maybe nothing at all To me they were the best of days These are the memories that keep me warm On a winter's day for us to the along These are the memories that I hold true Father 
seaside with me auntie Watch the horses running by Oh, these are the things that I recall They don't mean much, maybe nothing at all To me they were the best of day These are the memories that keep me warm On a winter's day, we're all still alone Enthusiasm is so wonderful in there. Isn't it's it? wonderful. I love it. Hopefully, there's people watching and seeing and listening to what we're doing. And we're going to do a little song for a friend of ours who may be watching, maybe not. Um, it's a song called "Dance Round the Table," and this is based on an old. If you remember the old um, newspapers, you had a story which was two inches high by one inch wide, and they were called in the olden days. Uh, they were fillings. The idea that they just put them in the paper just to pad the paper out wherever it was needed. And in the olden days when they did line type uh, setting. And uh, this is a story that I saw about a Canadian lady who was found. And uh, after a long winter, they went to a cabin and they found this lady dead at a table in, uh, in, in the kitchen. And uh, sadly, um, they found a bottle of whiskey by the side of her that was drunk. But what they couldn't explain was why there was footsteps all around the table. So we call this Dance Round the Table. Somewhere in the city She slumped at the table A bottle of whiskey Half drunk by her side Candle half burn flickers on the table. The clock chimes three times. She doesn't hear. The nine months she tried, she barely survived. And each day that passes gnaws away. Aches for him now, like she did when he died. And she just wants to hold him. And then, down. 
dance round the table. They dance round the table. Dance round the table from last time. They danced round the table. Dance round the table. Danced round the table from last time. Had passed, the police they were called. She slumped at the table, empty bottle by her side. And in the dust on the floor, there were two sets of footprints. She'd run round the table and out through the door. Danced round the table. They danced round the table. They danced round the table one last time. They danced round the table. They danced round the table. Danced round the table one last time. To explain what had happened Didn't take long For the rumours to begin Some said it was the whiskey Others said she was mad But for me I just understood Why they Danced round Table, they danced round the table, danced round the table from last time. They danced round the table, danced round the table, danced round the table from last time. They danced round the table. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know what they've had to drink, but I'd like three pints of it, please, before we start. That'd be <laughs> wonderful. I hope you're all enjoying it out there on a, in La La Land, shall we call it? I <laughs> love it. I love it. I think we do a little song called Buchanan's War. Oh. Uh, this is all about uh, a landlord. Up in Scotland, many years ago, uh, the prime land was the inland, and so uh, the cheap land was the seaside. So uh, all the landlords up in Scotland decided to get rid of people and move them uh, to the seaside. And so they had the better land. And uh, this fellow didn't like it. And because he was a Scotsman, he decided to fight them all and started a war. And uh, he was going around killing all the landlords, which uh, was sort of not supposed to happen, but he did do it. And I rather think it's probably relevant today because I think more and more people now have landlords rather than homes. So... We thought we'd do this, and of course, those who are in history, have a look on the internet, you'll find out about him. So a song called Buchanan's War. In the year of the Lord, 1432, 10,000 men gathered, they called them Buchanan's crew. By the river they had camped, overnight they rode. Shouts of dawn's early light Buchanan rode amongst his men On his 
his wife dear Today we see the death of the landlord grieve the royal From every man there we fight till the last man standing dies And the river turned red from the blood of the dead The devil could see rage in Buchanan's eyes And the river turned red from the blood of the dead The river turned red God save the souls Battle raged all day And into the night Help fell on to the earth In the form of this fight Fields of the dying laid waste to the earth. If there's a God of mercy, He wasn't found there. You can and lay to rest. Many men saw who some say it was sixty. Only the good Lord knows by the end of the battle. A one man stood alone. You can and with his blood soaked soil. High. And the river turned red from the blood of the dead. The devil could see rage in Buchanan's eyes. And the river turned red from the blood of the dead. The river turned red. About Buchanan's battle of 1432 Some say it's a myth Others that just don't know No history book recalls Buchanan feel There are those who say When the storm rejoins The sound of dying men Cracks across the sky Deep on the ground a blood-soaked soul Waiting for the next man Who comes to find the landlord And the river turned red From the blood of the dead The devil could see Rage in Buchanan's eyes And the river turned red From the blood of the dead The river turned red Like I've been, I've been evicted from a cottage in the west coast of Ireland, or I should be saying the Highlands of Scotland, shouldn't I? I've got sudden urge to walk down the street and yeah, do things. Cause trouble. Yes. Probably. Anyway. I'll calm down now. <laughs> calm down now. We'll get down there. This one's called Midnight Bus. This is dedicated to all the ladies of the northeast of England. Uh, it's an area where the ladies are very hardy and they go out and they don't really bother wearing too much at all. Bit of bit of something on the top and the bottom and that'll do. Don't bother with coats, that's for sure. And we saw them about one o'clock in the morning we were driving back. We saw all these girls queuing up to go in a nightclub. And one of the funniest things you will ever see in a nightclub is when they go home, because they go home on 52-seater coaches. And uh, you get 52 of them come out of the pub, or oh, sorry, of the, of the disco, around about three or four in the morning, and they're trying to sneak the men home in the coach as well. And so you have men trying to dress as women, which is hilarious in itself, as if... The bus drivers have never seen this before in their lives. So uh, instead of three or four in the morning, forgive us, we took it back to midnight because it made more sense and give it a lash. <laughs> Oh, 
time She's feeding on her makeup She knows just what to wear She applies the finishing touches To bottle bleach blonde hair Tonight she's gonna blow them away No matter what they do or say And nothing's gonna get in the way Till the midnight bus comes to take her away She teases the boys, drive them insane To her it's all just part of the game And all the boys just want to play Till the midnight bus comes to take her away The midnight bus comes to take her away The midnight bus is on his way Lies chair near the TV She walks to the bus stop No coat to keep her warm And she doesn't seem to notice <laughs> It's already three below Tonight she's gonna blow them away No matter what they do or say And nothing's gonna get in her way Till the midnight bus comes to take her away She's the boy, drive them insane To her it's all just part of the game And all the boys just want to play Till the midnight bus comes to take her away The midnight bus comes to take her away The midnight bus is on his way hey, hey, oh. On the bus she sits with others All in ignorance and bliss We come from all directions And they're all boys down to this Spilling to the town We're going from bar to bar All the party's just getting started And she looks just like a movie star Tonight she's gonna blow them away No matter what they do or say Nothing's gonna get in the way Till the midnight bus comes to take her away Cause tonight she's gonna blow them away No matter what they do or say And nothing's gonna get in the way Till the midnight bus comes to take her away She teases the boys, drive them insane To her it's all just part of the game And all the boys just want to play Till the midnight bus comes to take her away The midnight bus comes to take her away The midnight bus is on his way <laughs> There you go! Dedicated to the ladies of the northeast of England. <laughs> I think uh, I'll just get that one round there. Do a song now. Uh, this is a little song about when you meet somebody for the very first time. And when you meet them, uh, there's an argument that says you fall in love with them or you fall in lust with them. And uh, I think uh, we decided it was probably more lusty than it is love. So we wrote this song. We tried to name it many times different things, but it didn't work. So uh, we've named it the Lusty Song. And there you go, a man trying to do two things at once. <laughs> it was love for me. There you go. What did he want and never said? Am I a fool to hold on tight? Was it the wine or the heat of the night? How did it end? How did it start? How did it feel at the end of the night? Show me the way through an open door. Show me your heart. I'll show you some more at that too long.
week again it's nice to see it again ah this next song i hope you like that last one this next song is all about the wildest craziest woman we ever met and we've met a few we attract a few which is grand home for the lost and bewildered this lady lives in deepest rural wales and uh, she was married to a rock star when rock stars were rock stars and you gotta you gotta get her before 2 p.m because after 2 p.m she kind of slips away into another wee world with liquor unfortunately. But before 2pm she's the funniest woman going. She'd invite you around for tea, coffee and there'd be kittens in the bread bin there will be a hen laying an egg in the bed or whatever. I love it and I love her. to nature 
fantastic lady dear god i'll never forget the first night i met her katie she was a oh i'll never forget her this next number is about um another lovely person we met on our travels we are in the middle of strictly come dancing fever silly season whatever you want to call it there'll be some professional dancers there and the celebrities oh so oh, she's right. introduced this other song. <laughs> <laughs> Should have went to Specsavers. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry about oh, it. Oh, anyway, not to worry. Right, OK, this next number. It, it come, when you get older and you get a bit silly and a bit you know, forgetful like me, <laughs> you, you you got to have one item. you got to have a decent, respectable coat in the cupboard in your wardrobe that... Sadly, you probably have to take out to go and say goodbye to a fond one, to a family friend or to a loved one.
Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, we got to that. We got to that sound. By, we got to that that song by going round a roundabout of it. I better take a drink of water. There you go. You're allowed a drink uh, of water. Yeah. No law against it's it. It's old age. I need me water. Do we think we'll do a little song. This one is for anybody. Um, I'm sorry I talk because there's a lady here who's from Manchester, so I'm excited that there's somebody from Manchester even here. Um, don't meet many people from Manchester. Yeah, the lady from Manchester. So we're going to do uh, a song that is actually not about Manchester, it's about another city, but we're not allowed to mention the city because if we do, we get in trouble because we've been told off about it. So uh, we can't mention the city, but it has 65 bars around the market square and uh, it also has an awful lot of takeaway shops. So if you go there and you come out after a gig and then you go to the takeaway shop, the trick is to sneak in when it's empty and you go and order your shish kebab because nobody wants a kebab for breakfast. You always want one late in the evening. And uh, then you order and then you've got 15 minutes of where every nutter that lives in this particular city seems to come in and annoy me tremendously. But Tony, God bless you, he attracts nutters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a song called Kebab Craze Nutter. <laughs> And uh, we have to say that it's not about the city of Nottingham no. in any way, shape or form, is it? No. Well, on these city streets, no, nobody looks, nobody sees, asking for favours, asking for change. Life and death, it's all the same. Please let us have our city send us back. I paid enough tax to ask for that. Well, it doesn't matter what been before. All I know is we need. Saturday spills in the gutter, waiting for the kebab craze. Not up, please let us have our city send us back. I paid enough tax to ask for that. Well, it doesn't matter what been before. All I know. On this Saturday night, please let us have our city send us back. I paid enough tax to ask for that. Well, it doesn't matter what been before. All I know. Police carry guns of a different kind. Do you for speeding? Just easy fun. Please let us have our city send us back. I've paid enough tax to ask for that. Well, it doesn't matter what been before. All I know. I've paid enough tax to ask for that. Well, it doesn't matter what's been before. All I know is we need, we need a cure. There you go. Thank you very much. We'll never be allowed to go on a bus ride again in Nottingham. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> That's us banned from Nottingham area. We're never going to be allowed back I'm in. I'm quite again. partial to Nottingham. I like it.
So am I. They do good kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> right, back to my little story about another lovely lady, friend we met on our travels. As, as, as I said earlier, yes, we're in the middle of Strictly Come Dancing, silly season, they all go crackers to wear sparkly bits and what have you, and upstage each other and one try and be better than the other. But this is about a friend of ours who was a dancer many years ago, probably as good as, if not better than many of them on Strictly, you'd agree, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. But the, things happen, life gets in the way, life might have different plans and, you know, just things get in the way. Uh, but I often wonder if late at night... She's still dancing.
thank you very much. You, you must be tired in that other room there. They're like, they were like marvellous people. They've got a bar in there. They're all right. <laughs> Yeah, they're They've not silly. <laughs> Never mind this. Never. That's why they've closed the door. We can't see it. Always tuning the guitar. Well, the good news is this is the last one we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> For now, I think. And uh, there's a song called Going Home. And it depends where you call home or what you decide is home. And home isn't necessarily a house. It's a feeling. It's a feeling of where you feel the most safe in your life. And... Uh, we we'll leave you with this one, take care. Shadows fall on an open door Smiling faces welcome me home It's been so Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very, very much. much.